There's so much history throughout the Pocono Mountains, including here at the Castle Inn in Delaware Water Gap, where you could get your family together and come for a guided tour offered every Saturday and Sunday. So let's head inside to step back in time. Welcome to the Castle Inn. My name is Scott Fabian, and I'll be your tour guide for today. Built in 1906, this was a grand resort in Delaware Water Gap's heyday. Delaware Water Gap was the second most popular inland destination in the United States next to Sarasota Springs. Every year, the nearby train station was a revolving door for more than half a million tourists from New York and Philadelphia. And it was a lot of, like the movie Dirty Dancing. You didn't just come for a weekend. You would come out for the whole summer to escape the heat of the city. The resort boasted an apothecary, bowling alleys, pool tables, a dance floor, and running spring water in all 52 hotel rooms. Which was unusual uh, for back then. At one point, the castle and served as a training camp for famous boxers, including James Braddock, known as the Cinderella Man. It was uh, considered perfect because it was far from the distractions of the city and it had the uh, fresh, clean air, mountain air. Uh, they could run up and down the mountainside for exercise. The Castle Inn functioned as a resort through 1952. Then legendary entertainer Fred Waring bought the property and it became the hub for his music empire. <laughs> When his blockbuster band, the Pennsylvanians, was not on tour, the group rehearsed and recorded at the Castle Inn. The inn also hosted Waring's famous choral workshop. Every summer, over a thousand students uh, from all 50 states in Canada came to the Castle Inn to learn his specific style of singing. As Waring's popularity grew, so did the demands for his unique arrangements. In response, he founded Shawnee Press, which operated from the Castle Inn. That was the world's largest educational music printing company. It printed sheet music for high school and college students. He also developed the Waring Blender, which became a staple in restaurants and homes. He did business from the Castle Inn. And since vaccines are such a big talk uh, nowadays, Dr. Jonas Salk used a Waring Blender to invent the polio vaccine. Eventually, the inn became abandoned. Teresa and Frank Paccioni became the new owners in 2005. And we just fell in love with it. The Paccionis restored the castle and bringing back the old fashioned ice cream parlor, converting hotel rooms into office space, transforming the former dining hall into an event center and adding unique shops. We wanted to make it a uh, a commercial rental space, but we wanted to pres preserve the history. And they did it from the ground up. The couple spent months scraping away at the floor to uncover its original tile. They've also added their own personal touches like this mirror from New York City's Plaza Hotel and this vintage couch from the former Mount Airy Lodge. It's a very important local piece of history, we think. We, we're very happy that we have saved it so far. And this is just a sneak peek. You can come out and take the full guided tour happening every Saturday and Sunday. You can find more information on tourthecastle.com.